Good morning children. Welcome back to our online classroom. Hope you all are safe and in your home. Tell me children, what did you learn in the previous class? Do you remember that? Yes, subtraction facts. We learned the subtraction facts for the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this chapter, we have to learn the subtraction facts for the numbers up to 10. Children, what is the purpose of this subtraction facts? Yes, it is the beginning of quick and effective subtraction. It helps us to subtract numbers in a quick way. Children, it is very easy to learn, isn't it? Okay, today we will learn the subtraction facts for the numbers 5, 6 and 7. Let us start. Children, first we will learn the subtraction facts for the number 5. Here I have drawn 5 circles. See, for finding the subtraction facts, what will you do? We have to subtract some numbers from the given number. Here the given number is 5. Now we are going to subtract some numbers from 5. That is, first we are going to subtract 0 from 5. So we can write 5 minus 0. Children, what will be the answer when we subtract 0 from 5? We know the answer because we know the property of subtraction, isn't it? That is, subtracting 0 from a number is the same number. So, what will be the answer here? It's 5. That is, 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. See, this is the first subtraction facts for the number 5. Next, we have to subtract 1 from 5. That is, 5 minus 1 is equal to. Tell me children, what is the answer? 5 minus 1. We know, subtracting 1 from a number gives the number before. So, here you have to find out the before number of 5. Tell me children, which number comes before 5? It's 4. So, we can write here, 4. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Next, we have to subtract 2. That is 5 minus 2. How do you get the answer? Here, you can see 5 circles. We have to subtract 2 from 5. So, we can cut 2 circles. 1, 2. Then count how many circles left. 3. That is 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Okay. Next, we are going to subtract 3 from 5. 5 minus 3. What will be the answer 5 minus 3? Take 5 fingers and cut 3. That is 1, 2, 3. How many fingers left? 2. That is 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Next, we are going to subtract 4 from 5. So, take 5 fingers and fold 4 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many fingers is left? 1. So, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. The last, we have to subtract 5 minus 5. What will be the answer if we subtract 5 from 5? We know the property. That is, if any number is subtracted from itself, the answer is 0. That is, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, children, these are the subtraction facts for the number 5. That is, 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. And 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Children, is it clear? Okay. Next, we will learn the subtraction facts for 6. 
For finding the subtraction facts for 6, we have to subtract some numbers from 6. See, we have to subtract 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, let us start. Okay. First, we are going to subtract 0 from 6. We know 6 minus 0, what will be the answer? It's 6. Next, 6 minus 1. We know subtracting 1 from a number is the number before. So, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Then, 6 minus 2. How do you find out the answer? You can use your finger. Take 6 fingers and fold 2 fingers. 1, 2. What will be the answer? 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Next, 6 minus 3. Again, you can use your finger. Take 6 fingers and fold 3 fingers. 1, 2, 3. Then count the remaining fingers. 1, 2, 3. So, what is the answer? 3. That is 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Children, do you remember about the backward counting? Yes. We can subtract numbers using backward counting. So, how do you find out 6 minus 4 using backward counting? Yes. Keep the bigger number in your mind. Which is the bigger number here? 6. And take the smallest number in your hand. That is 4. Then count backward from 6. That is 5, 4, 3, 2. So what is the answer? 2. So we can write here 2. Then 6 minus 5. What will be the answer? Take 6 fingers. 4, 5 fingers. What is the answer? 1. So we can write here 1. The last one very simple. 6 minus 6. What will be the answer when we subtract 6 from 6? It's 0. So we can write here 0. See children, these are the subtraction facts for 6. Is it clear? Okay. Next, we will learn the subtraction facts for 7. Here you can see boxes. In each boxes, I have drawn 7 circles. Okay. Here, we have to find out the subtraction facts for 7. I, as I told you before, for finding the subtraction facts, we have to subtract some numbers from the given number. Here, the given number is 7. So, let us start. Okay. First, we have to subtract 0 from 7. We know, when we subtract 0 from any number, the same number will be the answer. So, 7 minus 0, what is the answer here? 7 itself. Next, we have to subtract 1 from 7. We know, when we subtract 1 from a number, gives the number before as the answer. So, 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. Next, 7 minus 2. Here you can see 7 circles. So, we can find out the number by crossing out. Here you have to cross out two circles. One, two. Then how many circles left here? One, two, three, four, five. So our answer become five. Next, seven minus three. So we can cross out three circles. One, two, three. Then how many circles left? One, two, three, 4 circles. That is 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. Then 7 minus 4. So we can cross 4 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many circles are left here? 3 circles. So we can write here 3. Next 7 minus 5. So we can cross 5 circles. Very good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then how many circles are left here? 2. 
that is 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Then 7 minus 6. So we can cross 6 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many circles left? Only 1. That is 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. The last one, 7 minus 7. We know if any number subtracted from itself, the answer is 0. So, 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Is it clear? So, so children, these are the subtraction facts for 7. The number 7 has 8 subtraction facts. Children, today we learn the subtraction facts for the numbers 5, 6 and 7. I hope you have understood how to find out the subtraction facts. Children, in your textbook, page number 46 and 47, you can see the subtraction facts table for 5, 6 and 7. Here, you have to write the answers. Okay. So, you should write the answers in these boxes. Will you do that? Okay, I attach the notes of lesson along with this video. You have to download the notes and copy down to your notebook. Okay, so children, see you in the next class. Till then, bye.